Developing news tonight, the family of an army ranger hit and killed by a car in Huntington Beach believes there is much more to the story than they're being told. That's right. They spoke with CBS 2's Orange County reporter Michelle Gili today, telling her that they think someone hurt him before he was hit by that driver. And, you know, they just said he was in a car accident. So when we get there, I assume maybe he has some scrapes and bruises. Maybe something's broken. But Stephen Broadus was much worse. Surgeons at UCI Medical Center did brain surgery on Easter to try and save the West Point graduate's life. He died over the weekend. He fought for his life at the hospital for a week. He held on for a week and, um, and went with Jesus. Police say the 25 year old who was home in Huntington Beach to see family was critically injured by a car on Beach Boulevard as he walked in traffic lanes around 4 a.m. The story doesn't make sense to those who know the bright, driven, retired Army Ranger who just accepted a job with Amazon. We uh, believe he could have been running from something or if there was an altercation. So we're just trying to, you know, use the phone calls and evidence we have. A friend talked to Stephen as he left the popular bar bungalow and there were problems, according to the victim's sister. It's at 315 when he texts his friend another time and tells him he's been jumped twice and has a concussion. We don't know if they still continued going after him after they already jumped him the second time. All we know is another hour passes and then he gets hit by a car. His sister wonders whether Stephen's injuries prevented him from getting home safely. At this time, the police department doesn't have any calls for service or any sort of reports relating to an altercation taking place earlier in the evening or earlier that morning. However, as part of this ongoing investigation, we are looking into that. In Huntington Beach, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.